by popular demand, I've been asked to show how to properly hold a comic book because a comic book is essentially uh, paper put together, bound, printed, whatever, and uh, the better condition the comic book is in, the more valuable it is. See how I'm holding it? I'm not touching it by the sides or anything. Then you want to gently grab it and hold it underneath. Never ever touching the spine. You crease the spine, it just dropped two points. Crease it again, two more points, and then it starts depreciating in value. He won't let me read them. He won't let me touch them. No, no. I want to read them. He'll buy me the paperback. I'm not allowed to touch them. Wow. A uh, friend of mine who uh, introduced me to Spider-Man when I was 10 years old. He just threw a whole bunch of comic books my way and he says, you gotta read this as a little 10 year old. They're very excited. And after reading about 10 of them, I was hooked. Wednesday is comic book day. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 500. Um, this is also signed by the cover artist and two of the artists that did this stuff inside. I actually just got this last week. Just show me, look at this artwork. Look at this cover. Look at this story. Listen to this, what's happening. But it's just the sequences of how they did the artwork and everything and how they, they told the story, which, you know, fascinated me. I listen though. You know, I don't care, but I listen because it makes them happy and it's great. I mean, I started off just collecting solely Spider-Man. It was just always anything about Spider-Man, but then I started branching out because it was just so many other things out there that were just uh, too much fun not to collect. Working around the room now, I mean, what I have in here is a culmination of everything I think I've collected since I was a little kid to today. Then I walked into his room one day and it's like poof, right there in your face. Um, posters on the walls, on the ceiling, toys from floor to ceiling. Stuff everywhere. I have many things that I'm gaga over in this room, but my absolute favorite piece in this room is this over here. It's a very limited life size head bust. Getting this piece of Spider Man, especially since the Spider Man was uh, one of my like coolest, geekiest days of my life, and he'll always be on display somewhere in my house forever. He's not going anywhere. This guy's definitely one of my favorites. Yes, that's lovely, lovely Spider-Man. Beautiful surprise. My wife hates him. I do. I really do hate that thing. I don't like it. <laughs> this thing goes actually between $1,500 to $2,000. But I won it for just under $200. I came back from my honeymoon. Here it was in my house. And that's why my wife doesn't like it anymore. <laughs> I didn't know about this. Uh, I didn't know he had done this. He did this completely behind my back. She just... <laughs> She just, anyways, every time she sees it, she freaks out. But this is one of my favorite pieces because it's a full life-size, it's the life-size Tobey Maguire, a laser cutout of his, whatever, anyways. I'm not getting, I'm not gonna get too geeked on you. I collect a lot of figurines, uh, like little Spider-Man plastic figurines. And this little figurine here, he's got magnets on his feet. So he can stick like Spider-Man. Every time I find it, I'm like, interesting position for your Spider-Man. And it just changes it, uh, different positions. I find it anywhere. And this is the most creative. This took me a few weeks to notice this one. Right over here. It's a game. It's fun. <laughs> Come inside. This is my dog, Jessie. She's actually named after this character. This is a little bit of a uh, mature reader's uh, series called Preacher. Um, and she's named after the main character, Jessie Custer. This here is James Logan. James is named after uh, Wolverine, and when he lost his memory, he nicknamed himself Wolverine. Uh, Logan. Logan, thinking that he was, that was his name. So happened that uh, we just call him Wolverine now sometimes. So. It, it was, it was a, just became such a, like a part of my life, just a passion, not just a, not just a little side thing or anything. It just became such a huge part of my life. It just made him so happy. You know, every time he talked about a new comic book, a new toy, a new something, you know, he got so excited, twinkles in his eyes, you know, it's crazy. Let's see if he's gonna notice this. My turn. Upside down Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs>